Hey kids, Mr. Adam here, and today we're going to talk about high tide and low tide and where all that water goes. To understand tide, we first need to understand the moon and its relationship to Earth. We know the moon rotates around the Earth, and we know the moon has its own gravity, but did you know that the gravitational pull of the moon generates something called tidal force? Tidal force causes the Earth and its ocean water to bulge out the side closest and farthest away from the moon. So high tide, or when the water is in and covering the beach, happens when we're closest or farthest from the moon. We get two high tides and two low tides each day as the moon rotates around the Earth. During low tide, you can find all sorts of cool things on the beach or in places called tide pools. Tide pools happen when the tide is out, but there is a low spot in the rocks or sand that water can't drain from. Tide pools are their own delicate ecosystem full of plants and animals from the ocean. Seaweed, crabs, starfish, barnacles, and sand dollars all call tide pools their home. Seaweed is actually an algae or plant that grows in the ocean. It is edible and full of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Animals such as crab and jellyfish eat seaweed to survive, and humans eat it too. Sushi. Crabs are a type of crustacean covered with a shell or an exoskeleton, and they have two claws that help them catch their food or defend themselves. Crabs come in all shapes and sizes and are found all over the world. Some crabs live in fresh water and others live on land. Starfish usually have five arms, but some species have more. They can also shed their arms in self-defense and grow them again. They are predators and will eat other sea creatures like clams and mussels. Starfish use their hundreds of tentacles to grip onto things like little suction cups. How many starfish can you spot stuck to this rock? Barnacles live in shallow water. Can you believe they are related to crabs? You can find them on rocks, shells, on the backs of crabs, and even on whales. They are filter feeders, which means they filter the plankton out of the water as food. Sand dollars are a flattened species of sea urchin. When they are alive, they are green, blue, or purple. And after they die, they turn white from the sun. You may notice the flower pattern on the top of a sand dollar. This is actually where their tiny little tube feet come out when they're still living. The hole in the bottom of the sand dollar is its mouth. Clams are another type of filter feeder found on beaches or in tide pools. They are often harvested by people to eat, like in clam chowder. Mmm. Most clams only live about a year, but others can live up to 500 years. Clams have two equal sized shells that are connected by two muscles that help open and shut the shell. Whether the tide is high or low, the ocean's a great place to explore and have fun. Visit the link in the description to Teachers Pay Teachers so you can get the worksheets that go with this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on Mr. Adam's adventures.